Hello, my name is Simeon Neil Asher and today the trigger point of the week is the biceps muscle. Now, as it happens, biceps really is an extremely interesting muscle. I know I say about all of the muscles, but it, it, hopefully I'm going to re reliably demonstrate uh, how interesting it is with you today. So let's have a look um, searching the software um, and let's have a look at this biceps together. First of all, the anatomy. Well, anatomically, the biceps means two heads. Um, and there's a long head and a short head. The long head takes its origin from the glenoid uh, fossa, from the superior aspect of the glenoid fossa, and the short head from the coracoid process of the scapula. Um, the, in terms of insertion, um, the short head, um, uh, both of them insert into the uh, sort of medial, the radial, uh, medial tuberosity of the radius, and also into the uh, bicipital aponeurosis uh, in the forearm here. Um, but let's just talk a little bit more depth uh, about the anatomy itself because even though it's called biceps, uh, some recent studies have shown that there are up to five heads uh, for the biceps. In fact, uh, atypical sort of, uh, um, uh, sort of uh, extra biceps heads has been demonstrated in about 27% of people. Uh, often the extra heads are here where the short head of bicep is, but sometimes we get little slips. The other thing we can have is something called a vinculum, uh, and a vinculum is an extra little tendinous strip that we often see uh, visualized on arthro arthroscopy when we're looking at vinculum, when we're looking uh, down through the bicep. Um, the biceps tendon sits in the um, what's called the rotator interval, uh, right in between part of the rotator cuff. And in terms of the, the long head of bicep, there's a, a sheath, a transverse sheath that runs across it to hold it in place. And that's divided into two layers. And the lower layer of that is actually made up of fibers of subscapularis. So I told you it was interesting. Not just that, but uh, in terms of the nerve supply, musculoskeletal nerve C5-6, there's also a very large uh, sympathetic plexus of, uh, of, sympath of sympathetic nerves around that area. Um, intimately involved in uh, frozen shoulder syndrome, which is uh, my big passion. Um, and uh, I've written extensively on the biceps in, in other places. But in terms of trigger points, um, look, the biceps itself is really two separate muscles that are joined together uh, down the middle. It can be thought of functionally. Um, so medially uh, and laterally, um, the tend to be associated with, with other muscles as well. Uh, what do I mean by that is the, the lateral trigger points uh, can be associated with a tricep um, and often we see tricep sort of uh, agonist antagonist relationships developing trigger points there. In terms of pain maps, um, sort of the anterior deltoid uh, to be sort of differentially diagnosed with the deltoid and also down here into the, the crease of the elbow itself uh, along the sort of cubital fossa. So. Um, the the bicep itself um, obviously vulnerable to to flexion injuries uh, people that are weightlifting people that are in the gym um, uh, also racket sports anything that really involves uh, sort of clenching and and flexing that arm but also we see it in associating with the uh, rotation because remember that supination uh, is very much connected to supinator and biceps have a relationship to each other as well. So people that are fixing a DIY, people that are overloading uh, in a kind of jobs, manual jobs that involve sort of uh, supination of the, the arm. Um, so biceps muscle, biceps trigger point, trigger point of the week. Hope you enjoyed that and thank you very, very much for watching. We'll see you soon. Thanks.